the previously from the last video. I like how it how it opens flat. So let's see. Episodes one through seven. That's DVD one. DVD two has episodes eight through four. Okay, and now let's start the video, shall we? Nintendo, you're being a big giant chocolate cake that I wish I had right now. That is the same thing for the NES Classic Edition. I want it, and I want it now. Hey everyone, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about one thing and one thing only, and assorted things related to it. But first off, Nintendo is announcing that they are going to discontinue the NES Classic Edition. And I know that there's a lot of people who are doing it, you know, saying stuff about it already. RGT85, rigs, and so on and so forth. This is like a big deal. I hmm. mean, let's see what, they, what people are saying on Twitter. Really? They're just continuing the, the NES Classic Edition? The hell? The hell with people? It's like, you know, a lot of people probably never heard of Bubble Bobble in, the, in, this, in this generation or, or so. I know that you can, like, download the, the ROMs and play it that way. I know that's, like, the easy way out. That's, like, the easy way out. And I know that they're, you know, I know that's, like, the most simplest and easiest way to get out of things. But there are people that really want to get the actual thing, even though they know that it's emulated it themselves. I don't really care if it's emulated. At least I'm getting 30 games, and if I do decide to hack it, then I'll decide to hack it when I want to hack it. But for 30 games, that's like a gold mine right there. I mean, that's probably less than how many games I actually have on the regular Nintendo. I'm playing something on uh, eBay, and my expecting date will be Saturday, but it's tendering too long in the city of Compton. Why the fuck is it still in Compton? And uh Simon and I could go to my friend my friend's house and and use search C D for it and uh just play uh whatever. I know that I could get the uh the A V S two as well. I was thinking on wanting to get one of those. But the only thing is I really want to get the NES Classic Edition because I wanted to play Balloon Fight and some other games too. But the number one game that I really did like when I rented it, did I rented it? I can't remember. But somehow or another, I've acquired playing Balloon Fight. Of course, I already know it's like Joust because I have that on my Atari. But uh, but then again, I mean, this is, like I said, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. As of the end of this month or whatever, we're, we're only like half in, in, in April now. At the end of this month or whenever they decide to discontinue it, it's going to be gone. I'd probably have to like, you know, you know, sell a few things, save some money for it. I already found some something on uh, eBay that was that was cheaper. That was like the cheapest price that I've that I actually imagined on finding, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, but 
aside from that, I mean, that's the only game that I really wanted to play was Legend of Zelda, Bloom Fight, Probably Mike Tyson, oh yeah, and Star Tropics. I really never, I never really played Star Tropics in the original Final, uh, Final Fantasy. And many other games. I mean, I, pr I probably would play hours and hours of Bubble Bobble because I think I, I think I almost finished that game in one sitting. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of silly. We're, we're already in spring, and they are finally deciding to discontinue something that everyone wants. I just looked on eBay. Some people are selling it for $1,000, $400, 500 so on and so forth. I mean, come on. <laughs> Some people are some people are selling it when when I originally got my original Nintendo back in nineteen eighty nine. A hundred and twenty nine dollars. You know, or two hundred dollars or whatever, I can't remember. I think it's like one twenty nine or something. And yes, I still have the KB Toy Store sticker still left on the box. And I and yes, I still have my boxes. But, uh, this is just insane. I want a Nintendo NES Classic Edition. You know, I mean, I know I probably would never ever get one. But at least, you know, if I ever decide to have children or get married or whatever, at least they would be introduced something that was within within my childhood. You want to know how many times I saw Lucky Star? I saw it twice. Once on the DVDs and once on Blu-ray. Now I'm watching this. Zuma and Godaya. Both are good anime. Oh yeah, back to this video. Because then it'll be like, oh, it'll be something new, but it'll be something old for them, but it'll be completely brand new for them if I ever have kids. And so, yeah. <laughs> I like Nintendo. I still do, no matter, no matter what. I mean, the Switch is doing good, you know. I mean, they could have just at least sold it until the end of this year. Then that would be then that would be good. Then that would be finished. I mean, 2018 there won't be any more, but they're deciding this month. They're deciding this month. So. Anyone going to see new movies? Tomorrow I'm going to go see Fast 8. It's going to be a good movie. Back to this video or something. I think that's a little bit too soon, don't you think? Anyway, catch you later. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what's your favorite uh, Sega Saturn game in the comments down below later.